Um, yes, this... Okay, when I when I was young, um, I played guitar, and after I I had a band like uh, pop folk, and uh, and after I met uh, Kevin, but I I am not really a musician uh, before, just a singer, and um, I. I start my career in music, really with Kevin and Andrea Matt. And for you, Kevin, what what was it like before before you two met? In, in the music, um, I mean, I have few uh, few projects in the past. Uh, I passed by a lot of style of music. I begin uh, uh, to play guitar and singing at twelve years old. And um, I uh, I mount few projects about pop. I I play funk. I play uh, chanson française. I play uh, some uh, pop electronic. Uh, and I begin to produce songs uh, uh, at uh, at fourteen. And uh, I sing in a gospel choir, for example. I uh, I travel a little bit to produce some electronic music mixed with the. Uh, with traditional music, and uh, finally, I I grow up in my in my art, and uh, I met Cecile, and uh, and we we form Andrew Yamad. So yeah, I have few projects, you know, and now I think this one is the more uh, abouti, like the more um, the more finalized, the more finalized, the more uh, yes, mature. Absolutely, and. Has Eurovision been a big part of your life before? I mean, when you were a child, when you were growing up, were you always watching Eurovision on TV? Um, uh, personally, me, I... Uh, sorry, Cecilia, you want to talk? Start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, me, personally, I have few memories about, uh, about the context with my parents, uh, front of the TV, with the, with the famous 12 points and... Uh, and all of that, it was uh, it was a good moment all the time. I don't, to be honest, I don't follow all all every year's the Eurovision, but uh, I remember when I was little, and I remember I, I I follow a little bit this few uh, last year because a lot of new French artists uh, um, have more visibility with the with the Eurovision contest. So I'm half familiar with the with the Eurovision. <laughs> and how about you, Cecile? Did you watch it as well? Did you watch it a bit more? No, no, no. I, I don't watch uh, Eurovision when I was young because uh, I, I'm i not really watching TV. <laughs> so I am not uh, I am not familiar with, the, with this emission. But the, the, like Kevin, um, two, uh, two years old, uh, Years ago, I just uh, hear about the French band, and I I find that it's really really cool. And um, you know the Neta, um, the singer of uh, Israel. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I I find uh, she's really really good singer. And when I when I hear her, uh, I found the origin super interesting. <laughs> so why did you two decide to take part in the in the French selection show then? Is it because you want to become a bigger name in France or is it because you want to is it because you want to take part in Eurovision itself? What was the the reason behind the decision? I think it's um we we talk for be honest we talk about the Eurovision to to be a part of the contest from 2 years now. Uh, and we're not feeling really ready for that before in the past. And uh, with all the situation in the world uh, in this moment, we have time to think about it, to, to, to think uh, how, what we, we can present, on what kind of song we can work for that. We don't want to present um, like any song. We want to, to write a song for the Eurovision. And with the... Um, with all the situation, we have time to write in studio and to talk about it. And this year, we say, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So we write this song. And uh, the first reason we do that, I think it's 
um, we are very uh, we want to challenge ourselves with the new uh, big contest and something yeah. uh, cool and uh, we want to share this um, this message we have from the beginning with Andrea Ahmad about the tolerance and uh, the, the open mining yes yes and um, so yes we, we we think it's coherent for for us now to do the the contest to try and uh, the song and our project it's just uh, for us is just to, to give uh, a positive energy to, to the people to, for, to the friends and if possible to to the european and all the country participate to the revision and Cecile, I, am I right in saying then that you, you wrote this song specifically for this French selection then? Yes, yes, yeah. Um, Kevin and I, we, are, uh, we, are, we love traveling and with the coronavirus we can't this year. And when we meet uh, just between the, the two, um, the two periods of coronavirus in France, we want to uh, we want to, to share our love for traveling and talk about the um, what the traveling uh, give us like you know like you, when you discover a culture a dance move or a language we want to talk about this and I think that uh, Kevin and I learn in uh, our travel like every people. Uh, come from the same earth. We we are the child of, of the, our earth. Sorry, my my English is very very bad. <laughs> it's okay, absolutely fine. And um, and we want to share it and write write it for the Eurovision because it's a big contest, international contest. And um, at this moment, it's a mini, it's a meeting with every culture and every nation. So I think that the message and the contest um, are similar, you know? Absolutely. Uh, Kevin, if I can ask you, have you been, uh, have you been listening to any of the, the comments about, the, about your song? Have you been following any of the reaction? Because from what I've seen online, it seems like the song is very, very popular with the fans. Yeah, we, we, we look in the beginning the reaction. To be honest, we don't expect that because we're just doing our music. Like uh, four years, like we do that for four years now. We are the uh, 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 first uh, EP released uh, a few years ago, uh, some covers and some stuff like that. So we just continue our um, process to creation and to composition. So we don't really expect that. And uh, we are very surprised to see uh, um, is like it's very pleasant for us to see all the reaction. So yeah, we looked at that in the beginning, but after a point, we try to focus on the um, on the on the on the emission and to keep our ID because when you read a lot of comments, sometimes you have some doubt and some stuff and some ID and some so you have a lot of advice uh, about people. But all the all the message we receive globally. At 90%, it was like very positive and very uh, motivating for us. About and the, all the community, about the real fan, and yes. And Cecile, are you very, very excited about performing in the yeah. in the French selection uh, at the end of January? Yes, of course. I I try to, to take every moment and and leave it at uh, 100 percent you know because it's super exciting but i'm super um afraid because uh, like like you know i don't sleep the um, comment dit encore uh, je dors pas depuis deux jours depuis... i don't sleep till uh, two days <laughs> yes I, I i don't sleep and and i i know i know like it's a big show and i want to do it but it's, it's like a huge thing so Yes, uh, I am exciting. <laughs> <laughs> have you been? Uh, have either of you listened to any of the other songs that are in the the selection show? Yeah, um, you, you you talk about the other uh, other candidates. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we meet them uh, on 
on show on other show uh, organized by uh, by French TV, and uh, we are like we are like a team. You know, you you are not in a contest. Um, we are not against to to the to the other, but we are a team, and there is super nice uh, ambiance between us. So it's we like the, uh, her how song those songs. Them songs, them two songs. songs, yeah. No songs. <laughs> yes, yes, because you know, like this year, we can't song on the stage because the coronavirus. But the Eurovision, it's a, a opportunity on this year's to song again, and we are super happy to meet an other artist, and uh, it's like okay, it's super cool. So uh, together we. We, we go we go to to this contest together but not against but together Kevin what would it mean to you both if you won the French selection and you got to represent France at Eurovision well to be honest for the moment is is like it's a little dream in the corner of my head <laughs> so I don't know for the moment I'm really focused on the emission and I don't really think about the next step because uh, it's important for me. I or, I always do like that. I always work step by step, and uh, I I I try to to do uh, the, the the maximum of myself to give the maximum of myself uh, in the in the next in the in the next step. So I don't. I don't really want to think about it. I, I just want to give the maximum and to be the more uh, uh, true as possible and coherent with our state of mind and our, with Andri Ahmad. And after, to give what we have to give, let's see what the people choose. Let's just enjoy the moment. <laughs> it's already a big luck for us to do this emission. It's already a big, uh, big challenge. So uh, the rest is, let's see. If yeah. you, if we are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> if we win, if we win, it, it, it would be wonderful. But if we don't win, it's okay because we have we enjoy every moment, so it's okay. <laughs> if you did at least win the the French selection, how much would it mean to you that you would be following in the footsteps of artists like Bilal Hassani and Madame Monsieur because they've they represented France recently and now they are yeah. really big artists in France, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's for sure it's a big exposition. It's a big exposition, but I think um, to, to build a career now uh, in any country, I think it's a really hard job because there is a massive, uh, with internet, you have a massive uh, a mass of artists. You have many, many, many artists. So just to, to give uh, our music to the public and to have at least just a little public can following us for a long time, it's already a big luck for an artist in 2021. So, uh, to be honest, we feel already lucky about all of that. And yeah, of course, we want to have a long career and to follow the step of the president people uh, doing that. But you know, every artist has his own way to, to, to create the career and to create the music. So let's see, well, let's see what's going on. <laughs> And let me ask you, um, for people who are listening, who are in France, what message do you have to the, the French people who will hopefully be voting for your song in the French selection? Uh, first of all, we want to say thank you at the, 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 for all messages. All, um, yeah, yeah you know, we, we received a lot of positive messages, so thank you because it's a booster for us. And we want to perform a performance. So thank you. And after, if, if the, the, the public, um, you know, public, um, people of yeah. the world, if you mm-hmm. think that you are a people of the world, of, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you. I think Cecil want want to say about yeah the people of the world. <laughs> no, <Yes>. I, I, <laughs> if your question is your question is about uh, about what the encouragement about the French people. 
yeah. uh, or what we want to say. To what you want, them. yeah, what you want to say to the French people, yeah. To the French people. Yeah, I think uh, we want to say um, um, if, we, if, you, if you feel our music, if, uh, if you guys uh, uh, feel something when, when we sing or when we, uh, when we dance, uh, if, you, if you feel the positive vibe, uh, just try to, to, to transmit this message in the world. <laughs> so <Yeah>. let's vote. <laughs> but uh, no, I, 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 I really insist on the fact we just want to be the more true as possible. I think it's the more important for an artist today is to be honest with the public and uh, with this song um, we are because first we we compose and we write all the song we all we also uh, do the production of the song only sensile and me so it's the it's in in a certain way it's a very intimist uh, song for us because uh, uh, everything comes from us so uh, let's see how how many hearts we're going to touch.